Okay, so I'm at work and I just seen this crazy ass story. First of all, this is just another tactic for them to try to literally just tarnish my son's character and everything. They do not want him having attorney visits in person, which will cause for ineffective counsel. So we went to court for that and they took his phone calls and they have him locked down. They had no evidence whatsoever that his attorneys did anything wrong to prove these accusations, but they knew it would get picked up by the media. So when we get ready to pick a jury, hopefully within the next two weeks, it's gonna be, oh, this kid tried to escape. Oh, this kid tried to do all these things. This is all fake because they do not have a case and it's still free Melly till he's free. Check it out now, Holy. Now, the Broward County Sheriff's Office is accusing YNW Melly of trying to plan an escape out of his main jail. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the cap on this is going to be heavy, so y'all need to relax, and I'm going to try to break it down. Now, according to the Broward County's office, okay, the Sheriff's Office, that is, they, they, they actually hit up Complex. Uh, there was this whole thing that was presented in court that said YNW Melly was trying to break out of jail. Now, the Broward Sheriff's Office said that they received a confidential tip regarding inmates Nicholas Lewis, I don't know who the hell that is, and Jamel Demons, which is obviously YNW Melly. They were both housed in the same unit, so the same cell at the main jail. They were supposedly planning an escape by having YNW Melly's attorney bring in two handcuff keys to aid the escape. Now, the de additional information was provided by the source that Lewis had a shank in drugs. Now, apparently, the jail officials reacted to that information, which they did find a uh, six-inch shank on uh, the Lewis dude, two razor blades, two lighters, rolling papers, and he also had some Seroquel and Clonopin pills, for which he don't got a prescription for. They searched Melly. And uh, they didn't find anything but food from commissary and also mad drip, okay? So he had mad jail-issued clothes. You know what I mean? He probably had more than the regular prisoners. But you got to imagine, he got to stay dripped out even behind bars, okay? Now, this is the important thing, okay? The reason why they're bringing this to, to court is because they're saying this is credible, but this is where I got to call Capitol Home situation. I'm going to keep reading. It says, yo, the confidential source gave us two pieces of information, one about the shank and the drugs, right, which turned out to be 100% true. And then the other um, was about the, the handcuff key that was supposed to be in YNW Melly's like situation or his cell. They ain't find the handcuff key, okay? Now, they're saying that they don't believe that the information wasn't true because they didn't find it with YNW Melly. They're just saying they believe he didn't get a chance to get the handcuff key yet. So they're saying they foiled the plan. Now, I'm going to just be honest, right? Even if this is true, if you really want to use it against YNW Melly, because you're not using this against the other guy in this case, you're using this against YNW Melly, what does the information about another inmate got to do with him, okay? Unless you find what you were told you were going to find about him, which you didn't find, why the hell would you go to court and tell the judge that this guy's trying to escape from jail? You said, or your confidential informant, right? Which, by the way, that's somebody in the jail. So somebody in the jail clearly was trying to tell them, yo, YNW Melly is breaking out of jail. He's trying to plan an escape. Apparently his lawyer is going to bring uh, a goddamn, like, you know, a, a handcuff key, and that's going to help spring him loose this and third. There's a couple things that I'm calling cap on. First of all, this is such a serious offense. Any lawyer who would be a part of helping an inmate escape, that lawyer would never be able to practice law again, but would also be now in a jail cell. Also, if you're really trying to use it against YNW Melly and you have a tip about when it was going to happen, why don't you, if you're trying to catch him in the act, add extra people to monitor the situation and just wait until he do the crime? Man, this ain't Minority Report. You can't arrest or you can't use information about somebody possibly doing a crime when there's no proof that they were even going to do it in the first place, okay? You don't got nothing that he said he intended to do it. He don't even have the tools to do it. So what type of situation are y'all bringing to his judge to try to bias the judge that we know he's not going to get out on bail, but now it makes 
it makes it feel like he's definitely guilty because if he's trying to escape jail before his trial, which is supposed to start soon, he knows he's hella guilty and he knows he ain't going to get out, right? That's why this is prejudicial and that's why I think this is a lot of cap. If y'all really had a case, y'all would have not, y'all would have either waited until y'all were sure he had the handcuff keys that y'all could say y'all found something or at least wait until y'all could punish the lawyers that's working with him. And once you fuck up his lawyer situation, he's probably going to be done anyway. Because now he can't have any type of proper counsel because you can't trust him around lawyers because they could be bringing him all type of stuff. This basically was a dumb move, I believe, by the Broward Sher Sheriff's Office. And it just tells me that this might just all be capped and them just using some propaganda to keep him in jail. You get me? Now, granted, I'm not saying he's going to get out on bail, but it's already poisoning the mind of the judge and everybody else in the process that YNW Melly is a guilty man who knows he ain't going to get out by the law. So he's just trying to break out of jail by any means possible. OK, I'm not believing this one bit. They don't got no proof that he was doing stuff and not because you have proof on another inmate. Don't mean you got proof on YNW Melly, okay? I'm calling Cap. They got to come with some more proof. What do y'all think about this? By the way, his mom definitely refuted all these claims. You guys get in the comment box, though. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Boys Academics. I'm